Hello reader, welcome back to the channel. Today I am reviewing The Only One Left by Riley Sager. According to Amazon, best-selling author Riley Sager returns with a gothic chiller about a young caregiver assigned to work for a woman accused of a Lizzie Borden-like massacre decades earlier. Let me just say, I had a really hard time finishing this book. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I will give you my unvarnished opinion as to why. In the meantime, let's break it down. I'm author Nancy Basile and I write murder mysteries. You can get one of my books for free using the link in the description below. There are several tried and true mystery tropes in The Only One Left, including a remote location, domestic trouble, inheritance trouble, not a suicide, nosy meddling relative, ghost, the main character is a suspect, a love triangle, and a detective. Whew! This mystery has a lot packed into it. Let me tell you. The story. Like I said, I had a really hard time finishing this book, and the only reason I did was because I paid for the audiobook on Libro FM. Otherwise, I would have DNF'd this sucker. So the story, for me, gets shareworthy. It did not keep me on the edge of my seat. It bored me, and the book is written from the main character's POV, and I couldn't stand the main character, so that was like torture being inside her head. Other people have told me that they read the book in a day because the story kept them going. Kudos to them. Dialogue. Oof. This one for me gets greeting card. I actually laughed out loud or groaned out loud at some of the dialogue. Maybe it's because it's a male author writing a female main character. I have a lot of trouble with that sometimes. Or maybe it's just the gothic nature of the writing. The writing isn't bad. Clearly, this sucker's a bestseller. It just wasn't my cup of tea. So some of these lines really didn't hit with me. Characters. Now characters, except for that main female character, I will give Game Night Invite because there's such a variety of quirky, odd, interesting characters in this book. The author really runs the gamut in The Only One Left. And they're pretty well written, so yeah, Game Night Invite. The setting. The setting is a huge part of this book because they're all living in this big old mansion that is long past its glory days, and it's literally falling off a cliff. It's written very well and described very well, and if you are into old, creepy, gothic houses, you are going to give this a here's my new address, but I'm going to give it Wasteland, because let me tell you something. If I had to hold on to walls as I walk down the hallway because the thing is slipping off a cliff, I wouldn't have lived there. So I had a really hard time believing that all these people were still living there or that someone from the local township or city or county hadn't condemned the house and kicked everyone out, especially because there's an invalid living there and the whole town knows it. So that part was very unbelievable to me. If you can go along with that and you live for that gothic old house stuff, you are going to love the only one left. Gasps. Well, here we are. I saw some of this stuff coming a mile away. It was painful. I just wanted the author to get to the point and get it over with and put me out of my misery. I have to give this a two gasp. You might give it a five gasp if you're not used to reading these kinds of books, but I have to say there were too many twists to believe. Like I said, stick around to the end of the video if you want to hear my unvarnished opinion. So in the end, two gasps. My final verdict for this book is three stars. I wouldn't give it less than that because I didn't like it because it is well written. This author clearly knows how to write characters and to pace a story and to put together dialogue and hit at the heart of a lot of the readers. A lot of readers love this book, but the main character drove me crazy. And like I said, too many twists for me to believe. There were actually a lot of things I didn't believe in this book as it went along. Too many plot holes, too many emotional relationship type holes for me to go along with it. But it is well written and a lot of people are loving it. 
so I give it three stars. Now here's my unvarnished opinion that may or may not include spoilers. So if you don't want any spoilers, turn this off now and please subscribe and like this video. But if you don't care about spoilers or you've already read the book, keep watching. I wanted to DNF this book so badly, but I paid my 15 bucks for this audiobook and I was going to finish it. I did set the speed at one and a half just to barrel through the thing. There were too many hidden things, too many twists, too many secrets. Every character can't have some secret part of the story. It just makes it so unbelievable. So by the time we got to who actually did what, I, I almost didn't care anymore. For her to accuse the groundskeeper for really no other reason than He's next to me in the car. Hmm, I wonder if it's him. I'm going to accuse him. She had no evidence to point to that. She just went around accusing pretty much everybody she met, except the detective. And the detective, don't get me started. What kind of detecting did he do? So he comes into the room. She wants to show him they've been tidying. Oh my gosh, there's no paper in the typewriter. Meanwhile, she's got a stack of them back in her closet and she doesn't go get them. The female main character really ruined it for me. If she had been smarter or tougher or braver or anything, I might have gone along with it. But I knew from the get-go who was who, and about halfway through, I figured out who did it. And you also can't tell me that Mrs. Baker wouldn't have cleaned out that girl's room ASAP. She would have chucked that stuff off the terrace into the ocean. The whole thing was bonkers. I had trouble believing it. But if you love gothic stuff, if you love soapy stuff, if you love reality TV, you are going to love this book. It just was not my cup of tea. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give me a like and then subscribe so you get more book reviews kind of like this one. I sincerely appreciate you. Thanks for watching.